we're going to begin our installation of the Cardano command line interface on Mac. The Cardano command line interface allows you to interact with the Cardano blockchain. You can use your terminal or command line to send and receive transactions, to create NFTs, to post transaction metadata, to mint or burn native tokens, to create a stake pool, to execute smart contracts, and more. Let's get started with installing the brew tools that we need to use Cardano on Mac. So join me in your terminal. We are going to install the following tools. You can actually call multiple commands at once on a new line. So we have brew install jq, brew install lib tool, brew install auto conf, brew install auto make, and brew install package config. Hit enter and we are going to install these five tools. If you are on the Apple M1 computer, so if you have an Apple computer with the M1 chip, then you're going to install as well LLVM. So we're going to use the command brew install LLVM. I already have all of these installed, so I just get already installed message, but likely you will see a newly installed message. You need to add LLVM into your path. So for that, we can run the following command, echo export path. This is going to create a new environment variable to access LLVM as an environment variable. Then we add the Z shell as well. You can check at the top of your terminal to see what kind of shell you have. The Z shell is the newer type of shell on Max. The bash shell is the older type. So you can hit enter and now you should have LLVM as an environment variable. You can check with Vim with the command VI followed by a squiggly dash forward slash dot Z S H R C hit enter and this will show you your Z shell environment variables. So I have homebrew, Google cloud, as well as the bin Python, Solana, Python, node socket and LLVM. So if you don't have this added, then you can also add it in manually. You just have to press I on your keyboard to enter insert mode, and then you can paste in your command. Then hit escape to enter command mode, and hit shift ZZ to exit the file. All right, so now we have installed the brew tools that we need for Cardano on Mac. So coming up next, we're going to install a GHC and Cabal on Mac, the Glass Glow Haskell compiler, and the common architecture for building applications and libraries because we'll also need those two packages before we can get Cardano. So don't miss the next lecture. Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously we learned how to install the brew tools that we need for Cardano on Mac. In this lecture we're going to learn how to install GHC and Cabal on Mac, which we will also need for Cardano. GHC is the Glass Glow Haskell compiler, and Cabal is the common architecture for building applications and libraries. We can use GHCup to install these tools. So we're going to go into the terminal application and use the following command. This command uses curl and passes in the proto flag of HTTPS. We're using TLSV TLS version 1.2, SSF flag, and followed by the HTTPS link to get ghcup.haskell.org. This allows us to install ghcup. So press enter, and you'll see welcome to Haskell. This script will download and install the following binaries. ghcup, the Haskell toolchain installer. GHC, the Glasgow Haskell compiler. Cabal, the Cabal build tool for managing Haskell software. Stack, an optional cross-platform program for developing Haskell projects. And HLS, an optional language server for developers to integrate with their editor. GHCup installs only into the following directory, which can be removed at any time. Press Enter to proceed or Control c to abort. I'm going to hit Enter to proceed. We get the message detected ZSH shell on your system. That's because I have the Z shell as my computer's terminal shell. You may have a bash shell 
which is the older version of a shell on Macs. Next, you'll get the message, do you want GHCup to automatically add the required path variable to users slash Alex slash ZSHRC? Of course, your username will be there instead of Alex. This is asking you if you want to add GHCup to be a path variable. So that means you can access it easily by its name, GHCup, because it will be created as a variable that references the tool. We do want to be able to access GHCup by its name. So you can hit P to prepend or add the path to the top of the file or A to append, add the variable to the end of the file. The default is P, so if you hit enter, it will just prepend. Next, you'll get a message, do you want to install Haskell Language Server? HLS is a language server that provides integrated development environment like functionality and can integrate with different editors like Vim, Visual Studio Code, and Atom. We don't need the Haskell language server, so we can hit N and then enter. Next, you'll get the message, do you want to install Stack? Stack is a Haskell build tool similar to Cabal that is used by some projects. We don't need Stack, so we can hit N and then enter. This is going to then download GHCup, upgrade if needed, and note about the system requirements on OS X, Mac OS. In the course of running GHCup, you'll be given a dialog box to install the command line tools. Accept and the requirements will be installed for you. You will then need to run the command again. On Darwin M1, you might also need a working LLVM installed. This is why we had to install LLVM on Mac M1 chips. If you have the M1 chip instead of the Intel chip, the M1 chip being the newer type of Mac computers. So that's why we installed LLVM and had the tool chain exposed in path. Hit enter to proceed with those notes. I get some messages that I already have a lot of these tools installed, but for you, you'll likely see that the installation is happening. You'll see the following notes, downloading the latest package list from hackage.haskell.org. You can revert to the previous state run, and then you'll see OK. Your Z shell has been modified. Restart your terminal for the changes to take effect, or type in the following command to apply the changes to your current terminal session. So you can copy this command to then be able to use the environment variables. And you'll get the message all done. To start a simple REPL, run GHCI. To start a new Haskell project in your current folder, run Cabal init interactive. To install other GHC versions and tools, run GHCup TUI. If you're new to Haskell, check out the first steps. So you can run the command source followed by the link to your GHCup. This is going to ensure that you can now use GHCup. So you can test it out by typing in GHCup and you should see a list of commands such as the version and starting a new GHCup UI installing or updating GHC or Cabal, finding a tools location, running a command, and more. So you can check your version with ghcup version. So in this course, we're using the ghcup Haskell installer version 0.1.17.6. Remember, you don't have to use the command of source GH cup, you can just reopen the terminal. So open a new terminal window. That will be the same process as applying the environment variable changes to the current terminal session. If you still can't access the variable GH cup in your terminal, then try restarting your computer or installing again. All right, so we have gotten a success message. We can also check the version of our Haskell compilation system with the command ghci dash dash version. Here we're using the glorious Glasgow Haskell compilation system version 8.10.7. We can also check our version of the GHC, the Glasgow Haskell compilation system. You see we're using version 8.10.7. So again, you can check with these two commands the same thing. We can also check our version of Cabal with Cabal dash dash version. We're using a version 3.6.2.0. So this verifies that we've been able to install GHC and Cabal on our computer. 
join me coming up next. We are now ready to download and compile Cardano. So don't miss the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.